Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brickworld. Today's update, we're going back to the old city behind the city walls. You can see it right now. There's one big gap here on the table. We want to close that gap with a new model, adding more stuff to the old city, adding more cobblestone paths, more minifigures, more light, more stuff of everything just to get on the way to get that done. So stay tuned for today's update. We are starting by adding new base plates. I have that 48 by 48 base plate followed by a 32 by 16 base plate and a little 16 by 16 base plate. So we are getting that very nice big model for our new stuff. I'm adding now some columns and on top of that I'm adding 16 by 16 plates to get a foundation for our new area here. We're adding a waterfall, a little canal, adding a cobblestone path, a lot of stuff we need to add and we need to get at the exact height before we can start working at the stuff. So I have these big 16 by 16 um, plates in black color and now I'm adding on top of it these little uh, trans clear in dark blue uh, tiles to add the canal structure here. Um, it's just testing a little bit on left side. You can see that is not good um, connection to the old model because the waterfall we're going to add today is something I had not um, planned before. So we have to work a little bit more on the left model to add that. But for now, we're just starting by adding some missing parts of that canal on the right side. You can see it not at the moment behind that house on the right side has already a little canal. So it's connected to that later. But now I want to show you a little and very fast technique to build a little, little um, bridge over the a little water canal or a little river or something like that. Just adding these one by six um, plates on top. I have these um, printed parts with the one by four tiles and then you can put them in that rounded part of that arch. It's not very good connected, but it's, it's working. You can add a lot of them into here. Then you have that very nice structure of the curved little bridge another arch on the other side and then I can put it around and you can see it's a little little nice bridge and we can add it to our city crossing over that little canal so just wanted to show you that little and very fast technique to add a very nice curved little bridge. I have installed it here into the city and you can see it on the left side as I said the canal is ending in yeah like a lost place we just need to add or remove a lot of stuff on the left side and then we need to add that waterfall I already teased on the um, um, name of today's video. Also need to work on that wall, but that's something not for today, for another day. But now we have to remove that, as you can see here, the waterfall has to be at that location. So on the left side, the water is a little bit uh, on a lower level, so we really need to add that little waterfall. I think it's a very nice addition and you can see it here. I have removed a lot of these uh, rock parts. Then I added some different kind of tiles and a different kind of cheese slopes, mainly in these uh, watercolors and also in Transclear to make that look like the water is running down from the upper location to the lower location. Also started to test some stuff on top of that wall, but that's something we're going to work on in a later update, not today, just testing some stuff today. So I know what I have to order to uh, make that it, uh, also done in a future update. But for now, we have that canal, we have our little bridge, we have the waterfall, and now we can work on other parts around that location. And as always, we need to also add some electricity. And I'm using that light system from Light My Bricks. We have these connectors. Normally they are used to get uh, or make it possible to remove different uh, floors from modular buildings. But you also can use them on that layer from side to side to get electricity from one model to the next model without adding a USB port to every model. It's a very nice stuff to work with. So I think it's a very nice addition to make different models um, getting electricity without putting an USB port on every model. But it's insane number when you're building something big like that. I also have that little uh, carriage here with that horse. I want to put it here and I also want to light up that lamp on the side. I already did it. So we have uh, just put it in a little um, cable coming from under the 
um, couple stone going up on the side of the carriage up to the little lamp and it looks quite nice later when it's a little bit darker in the room. Now I'm going to add some more stuff here for the cobblestone pass. The cobblestone pass from the left side is going to the right side to the, our other modules and that is an insane time of work to make these cobblestone passes especially when they are going up a little bit so we have to put on different layers of um, layer gray plates to get it slowly slowly coming up and on not so not a stepped kind so it has to be a smooth and natural look so you have to put in some more little plates and little details to make it running up slowly but nicely and there yeah, that's how it looks at the moment also added some greenery stuff between the path and our canal on the right side also added a, a little smaller waterfall from that hocus pocus building and now we have fully completed the path for the water coming from that um underground area you can see the arch here and it's going uh, alongside the Hocus Pocus house coming down here a little bit in our canal and then going down to the waterfall we have built a little bit earlier on this update today. Um, yeah, a lot of work already done, but I want to, to add some more little details, filling up these little gaps on both sides of the canal. I think it's a good conclusion for today's update. So you can see it here. Also add a new minifigure. Maybe you know her. She's a minifigure from, Hog uh, from Hogwarts uh, or Harry Potter franchise. I just got it from a, a magazine a few days ago. So I added her here. I think it looks quite nice as a part of that fantasy slash medieval festival. So I added uh, her to my city here. By the way, the path should go on that way. Not today, but in the future. And we're going to have a bigger kind of uh, houses here around in that location to have that look of when you're looking from the other side from that potential viewer of somebody visiting the city and looking at it. I really, it's really important to have these eye lines and these view lines. And I think it's a very nice line coming from here, looking into the city, especially that's also the reason why the wall is collapsed. So you have the ability to look inside the city and not blocking a lot of the details with the city wall. So we have it on the left and the right side in the middle. There's no wall and it's collapsed, adding some more little storylines, details. I think the view line from here over the uh, marketplace is a very nice view line and going into that city. And yeah, in the future, when we are adding more stuff behind that on a new table, the city should look much more majestic. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye.